Alright, let's just swipe this card. No, we really don't. All right, let's go. I wonder if that's going to be the last escape room. Huh. I think the shaking stopped. It would seem so, but we are yet to be out of danger. You're right. Let's hurry. This exit needs the Uranus card, too. Hey, Junpei. Yeah, I know. All right. It's open. Let's go. Okay, Neptune Key. Let's see if you work. Yep. I'm gonna save. Just in case. Yes! Oh, I think it unlocked. We're back here. It says Oh no. So this is the incinerator. This is the first time I've seen it from this side, but yeah. I think so. Then there ought to be a lever near the door. Yeah, right here. Pull that and the door should open. Got it. Let's go. There it is. What? What the hell is going on? What's wrong? Are you okay? Jumpy, you came to get me. Of course. Of course I did. I made a promise. I'm so glad you're here. So glad. Hey, what happened to you? I'm fine. I just fainted. I wasn't feeling very good. I'm feeling a lot better now, though. Are you sure? Yes. I just need to rest a little longer. I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. You shouldn't worry about me. Santa. Hey, where is it? Where's the gun? You hide it somewhere? What happened to him? I don't have it. Who like does? Sucker punched and they took the gun. Who did? What? Who took it? What? Isn't that obvious? I took the gun. Of course. Hello, Hungo. Ace. <laughs> Just what the hell do you think you're doing, Ace? Or maybe I ought to say Gintaru Hongo. CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? You have me at a disadvantage. And I don't like that. You know me, but I don't know you. Do you have any idea how much I've suffered? Can you even begin to understand my pain? Oh, I'd love to hear this. Yes, tell us how much you've suffered. The pain of prosopagnosia, right? Hmm. Another irritating insect. And how do you know that, hmm? Good question. No matter. If you don't want to answer, it makes no difference to me. This is a waste of time anyway. It's time for me to go. First is one. Give me your hand. Uh. Eight. And with this... Nine. The Ninth Man. Kubota's Bracelet. I believe I've won this game. I've had quite a time playing with you. I must thank Zero, I suppose. Wait, what? Ace doesn't know who Zero is. Oh ho ho ho! Uh, uh. What the hell are you planning, Santa? Seriously. At any rate, this game ends now. I will escape, 
and the rest of you will have a slightly less pleasant ending. I suggest you enjoy your final moments. Goodbye. Wait! What? Why isn't it opening? Because <laughs> that's not the nine bracelet. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> now open! <laughs> Incorrect. No! What is this? Why? The digital root should be nine. It has to be nine. Then why? Why isn't it opening? Now! No! Kick his ass, Seabass! Oh. Uh, oh, that was close. Too close. Thank you, Seven. Don't mention it. Just one punch ain't enough for this piece of shit. After what he did nine years ago, I oughta rip him to pieces! And for what he did in the other timelines. But if a suspect can't talk, they ain't much good. Once he's locked up in a cell, we're gonna have a little chat. <sighs> nine years ago? Uh, then you must be... Yeah, you finally figured it out, dumbass. <sighs> Ace, you killed Kubota, Nijisaki, and Musashido, didn't you? Wait, Nijisaki? Oh, right. You don't know yet. All right, we'll just go through them in order then. Let's start off with Kubota. You talked to Kubota and managed to convince him to go into door five alone. You killed him without making it look like you killed him. What a gullible idiot. Like, he designed this! You really think that... <laughs> you really think that it would suddenly change? You made this! You're an idiot. The way I figure it, you had four motives. One. In the Nonary game, the number nine is dangerous. Well, I guess it's possible he didn't make the bracelets. It's possible that uh, they had a different method of escorting the kids through the puzzles. Whoever had the nine bracelet could join whatever team they wanted. Adding nine to any number doesn't change the digital route, which means that number nine could do whatever they wanted. You wanted to remove that threat as soon as possible. Two, you wanted the number nine bracelet for yourself so that you could make use of its power. In fact, you did use it in the murder of Niji Saki. Three, even if his number hadn't been nine, Kubota was a problem. He knew your past. He knew what had happened nine years before. You needed to silence him before he told anyone. Four. But last, and perhaps the most disturbing, you used... He had to find out if it really was life or death. You convinced him to break the rules so you could see what would happen. That was why you killed Kubota. But he was only the first. Next was Nijisaki. While everyone was off looking for the missing parts for the Reds, you ran into Nijisaki near the big hospital room. However, because of your prosopagnosia, you didn't realize he was Nijisaki. You thought he was Snake. Chiefly because, when you met him, he was dressed like Snake. That was why you thought Nijisaki was Snake. No, that that's not... That was Nijisaki? Why? How did... I'll get to that. Anyway, you thought he was Snake. Snake was one of the kids in your experiment nine years ago. You remembered him because he was the blind kid. But his presence made you think. Snake was one of my subjects nine years ago. He probably hates me. But if that's true, why isn't he saying anything? Is he keeping quiet because he can't see? Or perhaps he's working with Zero to get revenge on me? Whatever the reason, anyone who knows my past is a threat. 
Before he tries anything, I need to get rid of him. That was when you decided you had to kill him. The murder weapon was Kubota's bracelet. You just waved it over the red. Verified your own number and then grabbed Nijisaki's arm and forced it over the scanner panel. Then, when the door opened, you kicked him in. Nine seconds later, the door closed. And then 81 seconds passed. And poor Nijisaki was dead. And you mean to say, Snake is still alive? Yep. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm as good as new. <laughs> Thank you for killing the wrong man. But I can't say I like knowing that you wanted me dead. <laughs> Although, to be honest, even if you hadn't tried to kill me, I would still hate you very much. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't blame you. Last but not least, let's talk about Musashido's death. When Clover and I were investigating the chart room, you came over to talk to me. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you damn kids. Do you remember what you said? Oh, a pocket, oh, a pocket watch. watch. Might, Might I, take I take a look, a look at, at it? it? Oh, that was when... That was when he killed him. I handed it to you, and you left the room. You had been in charge of the Nonary Project. Of course you would have known the solution to every puzzle. Which would mean that you also knew how to get out of the wheelhouse. All you had to do was place the watch in the indentation on the door to unlock it. If you remember, when we were with Ace, he did seem awfully congratulatory of me, and seemingly very proud of himself during those times when I would figure out the puzzles. Which makes sense, since he clearly designed all of them. With the door open, you could enter the captain's quarters. Musashido was there. Conveniently placed next to him was an axe that practically begged you to kill him with it. You picked up that axe and buried the blade deep in the other man's chest. So much for loyalty and business. One blow was all it took. And then you returned to the chart room as if nothing had happened. How cold-blooded is that? He literally acted as if nothing had happened. Wow. There was there something, was something, I, wanted something I wanted to speak, to speak with you about, about Junpei. Junpei. Could you, Could you come, come with me for a moment? I had no reason to say no, so I followed you to the wheelhouse. When we stepped inside, remember how you slipped your hand into my vest? You pulled out a piece of paper, the one I used to cheat during the vote. But that wasn't really what you were after. Your true purpose had been to slip the watch into my pocket. So I just completely would forget. Oh, boy, that was clever. I didn't even notice that. It wasn't a very good... Someone saying the wrong thing could have brought it all down around you. You must have been desperate. See, I'm clicking so that it keeps up, but sometimes I misclick and it skips. Sorry, guys. But what made you willing to risk it all to do it? Ace. Musashido's murder is the only one I don't understand. You obviously did it, but why? I don't know either. Because of this. What's with the paper? Just read it. Huh. Let's see. Number one. There are two ways you might survive this ordeal. The first is to win the nonary game. The second is for you to confess your sins of nine years past. I have prepared a camera in the captain's quarters. The images captured by that camera will be streamed through a satellite and distributed across the world. Wow. Simply look into the camera and repent. Once you have confessed everything, I will release you from this ship. To make your confession more credible, I have left you a witness in the captain's quarters. Perhaps he will confess with you. The decision is yours. Do as you please. Zero. Hmm. When I awoke in that room on D-Deck. So if that wasn't more convincing evidence for one of the 
people from the first experiment being zero. I don't know if there ever would be any better evidence. See, I thought it was Snake. For a long time, I thought it was Snake. It would be pretty convenient for him to be killed off and gone, quote-unquote, in order to be the mastermind behind this. Clearly not. It was Santa. I found that in my pocket. Hmm. That was why I chose door one when we voted. If I went through that door, I knew I could get to the captain's quarters. As you said, I knew how to enter the wheelhouse. My plan was to find the pocket watch before anyone else. If I could, then my alibi would be set. At least, that was the plan. Unfortunately for me, you got to it first. That sleight of hand was the best I could manage on short notice. You meant to kill him from the beginning then? <laughs> uh, Musashido, I mean. I only knew Musashido was the witness after I reached the captain's quarters. I asked him, and he answered. He seemed groggy. Perhaps he had only just awoken from sedation. Yeah, he'd been drugged too. I suppose Nijisaki was in much the same state. He seemed confused and disoriented when I encountered him. <sighs> but yes, you are correct. I intended to kill him from the beginning even though I didn't know who he was. I proceeded to the captain's quarters in order to remove this so-called witness. Hmm. Ace, y you figured it out, haven't you? You were being manipulated. Yes, so it would seem. I was little more than a puppet, in many ways. Everywhere I went, everything was already prepared. The Reds in the large hospital room were dismantled. Nijisaki was dressed like Snake. There was an axe in the captain's quarters. Musashido was delirious from the anesthetic, so he couldn't fight back. So I guess Zero must have done the extraction of those Reds. Why did he do that? He had to keep them occupied to give opportunity for Ace to kill Nijisaki. So we went and searched everywhere, and that was when they took Snake. That was when they drugged Snake and put him in the coffin. Because obviously Zero could go anywhere he wanted to. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> Nijisaki as well. In retrospect... I can't understand how I could have fallen into such a simple trap. But yes, yes, this was a trap. It was Zero's trap, and I fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. I did everything he wanted me to do. Yeah. By manipulating you, Zero was able to kill three people and keep the blood off his own hands. All of this was revenge for what happened nine years ago. That's why this nonary game happened. Am I right? Santa?